Hey everybody! Hey, hey, hey! Good evening. I guess I keep saying that, then it's like good morning or good afternoon if you're somewhere else in the world. Welcome and thank you all. Um, or thank you to everyone who gave me birthday wishes. I was just like so like it's just so it's amazing. So I'm grateful to have so many awesome Facebook friends. So thank you, thank you. It was a good day. So there's that. And I'm ready to go to bed soon. So it's I'm like getting sleepy. So I'm gonna do this. Um, but I couldn't not do the cards. Like I was gonna say, okay, I'm taking my birthday off. But then I'm like, no, you know what? I love doing this so much that. I couldn't even do it so so hey hey people who are jumping on so let's do card number one first this is the one that's all the way to the left so number one is giving and receiving so what is she doing she's like <laughs> she's chilling out with a kangaroo how's that um, <laughs> I love these pictures sometimes so the giving and receiving card the quote is this is number one it says the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations when you only exhale give or only inhale receive you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health energy and replenishment balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation so, hey everyone, hey, hey, oh, thank you, happy birthday, thank you, Jenna. Um, so basically, this card, if you chose this, is suggesting that in your life that your giving and receiving ratio feels out of balance right now. So that's something that um, it, you can't do, you can't have a perfect balance with this. So don't put pressure on yourself to have this perfect balance of giving and receiving. I think it's more of like a healthy mix of the two so that, and also to have a healthy perspective on giving and receiving. So if you're out of balance with giving, then you're feeling like you're being taken advantage of, or you're, you know, tired around that. Um, if you're uh, out of balance on the receiving end, then you might be feeling a little bit guilty, a little bit uneasy, like, oh my gosh, I'm receiving too much. So I think having that healthy balance means not only just giving and receiving, having both of those energies flowing in your life, but also having a healthy perspective around them. So when you give, always give without expectation of receiving. So you don't have to feel that feeling of out of balance. You don't feel taken advantage of. You don't feel like you're exhausted from giving or like you're like okay you know what's up with this like you're waiting for something to come back to you so just um keep on doing it and without any expectations and then you release those feelings you release those that tension from yourself and you don't have to do that and for receiving and this is so hard i find this is actually harder to do than the giving part i think we give pretty easily but sometimes receiving is not as easy we have a um, really hard time, like a lot of like, that's where your self-worth comes in and any issues or blockages that you have with that, it can be really, it can be a huge block. I think, you know, for finances, for relationships, sometimes even for health and wellness, just the way you treat yourself and that you feel like you're receiving too much. And, you know, <laughs> if you're receiving goodness in any way, shape or form, that's awesome. So appreciate and just simply say, thank you, that's it. You don't even have to, do you ever notice like if you, we receive, we sometimes just downplay it like, you know, oh my gosh, I couldn't, oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh my goodness. I have to do something for you now. Like I, it's and instead of just having that nervous energy around it and that guilty energy, just receive and simply say thank you and allow somebody else to do something for you and feel, and it warms their heart because we're all givers at the very core. So have that inhale exhale balance get that it just makes you feel better it's healthy and just really change your perspective on that and that's what the angels are asking here so that was number one giving and receiving number two in the middle is shower of abundance and I we've seen this one before I still just always love when I see this I love the picture I just love the vibe I love the colors and this one says to heal your financial situation first give us your worries concerning money we will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance as we work together your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow so that card is a great card such positive energy so it, it's 
your financial prayers, if you're choosing that card and you're concerned about finances or there's something you want to do around finances and you're wondering what the outcome will be. So your prayers are being heard and answered with divine guidance. So this is the time to watch for your gut feelings and your signs and then act on them. Don't read too much into it. Listen to your gut and that this is a positive outcome card. So that's all positive energy. So if you're worried, there may be a financial, um, some sort of a financial gain coming in your future or the doors will open to increase your financial abundance. Um, if you're seeing coins maybe on the ground or in your space a lot, or, um, know that that can also mean uh, loved ones who have passed on to the other side are trying to say hello to you and contact you. So know that. But also abundance doesn't have to mean finances. Typically with this card, that's what the focus is. Um, so mean that a financial um, gift or abundance is coming to you. And especially if you're listening and following angel guidance and then acting on it because we can't just positive think our way into things. It means that we're positive thinking. So our perspective is in the right place. Our vibration goes up. Doors start to open and things start to happen. But we have to act on them. And if you want financial abundance, typically um, you're somebody who can make pretty quick decisions. And that doesn't mean rash, like unthought out, crazy decisions, really impulsive. It just means when something, a door is opening that you know is going to bring you financial increase and that's what you've been praying for in the first place don't be afraid to act on it kind of like we we're talking about with the receiving sometimes it's hard for us to receive even though we pray and we want to receive and we're looking for something to improve particularly finances but our self-worth allows us to only plateau at a certain point so we somehow uh, create our environment so our finances always come back to what we think our worth is. So here it's saying, it's almost like that card's building on the other one. It's if you're thinking about finances, number one and two can actually build on you and say, be ready to receive and when you do, or ready to give, maybe you have to be more of service in order to receive that financial abundance. Are you building a business and you need to be more of service and not so concerned about the money per se. But when you, um, Focus on abundance, that could also mean, it doesn't have to be money, it can mean time, health, relationships. So whatever that is, whatever abundance means to you, that card means that you continue to move forward and watch for signs on that and they will guide you to reaching that point of abundance that you're looking for. So that was number two. So this is number three, the card to the right and it's called acceptance. And this card says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So this is telling you and just reminding you, if you're tempted to judge anyone harshly, whether it be yourself or somebody else, take a pause. This card reminds you to, to really pause before you do that because the angels are reminding you, we see you and everybody else with unconditional love. We see the light and the divine in you. So we're asking you to build on your ability to see the divine in others and yourself, right? Because you are a child of the divine creator, whatever that creator that you believe in is. Um, so treat yourself as a loving parent would treat um, your child. So instead of judging or criticizing anyone, even if they're really making you mad right now, try to take that pause and wish them health, happiness, and abundance instead. Like just try to wish for and pray for them as opposed to really criticizing and judging. And that's really what that card means is to work on acceptance and seeing the light in other people and including yourself. So whatever situation, if you chose that card, maybe there's a situation that um, you're really having a hard time um, getting uh, past a certain block with another person or it's just, you know, little, you know, those little feelings, those little thoughts, those little judgy thoughts are coming in and try to release those, bless and release and then try to see somebody's light and then work on that situation from a place of love. So you're accepting that um, they are a light being as you are and try to work from that space to come to a resolution in the situation that you're thinking of. So or maybe there's a situation you need to work on acceptance for 
that you're either complaining about or just you know very um, frustrated with and need to just breathe and just start to see the goodness in the situation, see the benefits or see what there is to be grateful for and then work from there instead. So that, those are the cards for tonight. Let's go over them one more time. Giving and receiving is number one. Shower of abundance is number two. And acceptance is number three. So I hope these were helpful to you. I love to hear if any of these resonated with you or the one that you chose resonated for any reason. So I'd love to hear um, comments on that. Leave a comment. I thank you for the likes and hearts and shares because you never know who may need to hear any certain message today. It could be so helpful to somebody. Appreciate it. Um, those of you who ask about private readings, I encourage you to message me and I can give you my calendar link for that and more information. And that's about it for everyone. So again, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes that I got on Facebook today. So sweet. Love my peeps here on Facebook. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed night or a blessed day wherever you are in the world. And take care. Much love.